So, standard commentary voice, standard commentary voice for this Good Friday footy. Slightly more excited voices. There's a chance now, there's a chance now, there's a big chance now for the sound check.
Friday night footy at Wembley Park has commenced the NPL Women's Victoria competition. Round three kicking off on this good Friday with Box Hill United wearing their all blue strips facing off with the Preston Lions. My name is Joey Lynch. Thank you ever so much for joining us as Box Hill looked to make a go of things very early on. Ask Adoy on the right, cutting the ball back. Look at Ranvari. Mary Manvari, she wasn't there, couldn't find its way through to Ting either. And Box Hill trying to make it a very strong start here on this Friday night. 
Two teams going on it. Box Hill looking for their first win as they keep pouring it on early. Ting trying to get through. She'll be denied at the last. Bella Stringfellow trying to get up the back of Ellie Vlamink. And eventually putting the ball out for a throw. And well, after that rather breathless start, we can take you through the two teams. As I said, my name Joseph Lynch. Take you through the call on this one. And for the hosts, Box Hill, they'll have Natasha Stathopoulos in goal in front of her. As we'll pause. As now Stathopoulos has been caught off her line. And the shot wide of the goal somehow from Ellie Lamont. The West Australian had done the hard work, well, the harder work in rounding the goalkeeper, but shooting from distance and on the angle. Just missing out on a golden opportunity to put Box Hill back in their box after that sterling start. God, it's all happening here. 90 seconds in, two chances for Box Hill, one chance for Preston. Maybe this goal kick from Stathopoulos will calm it down. She's got Olivia Ellis in front of her, as I said, and then Zoe Hudson. Uh, Chai Ting, Mariam Anvari, Brady Cooling, Belinda Stoichevsky, Asuka Doi, Bella Stringfellow, Mawa Samayoro, and Nicolina Bucalo. Preston, they've got Charlotte Prahorison, Prahorison in goal. In front of her, Jade Feeks. El Talevsky, Ellie Lamont, who had that missed opportunity just before. Ellie Blamink, Lani Gadais, Rui Zhao. Eva Harrington, Haley Johnson, Georgia Henderson, and Brie Gurr. Preston trying to press. That was Zhao applying the pressure. Mitchell just able to escape it. Anvari turns, gets it to Ting. Trying to splay something across the park. Preston getting bodies in the road. To Levski. Forward to Zhao. High ball forward. Oh, look, Stathopoulos, was she out of her penalty area? No, says the assistant referee. Preston continuing to apply the pressure. And Vari clears it away. Box Hill again trying to work their way down this right flank. Preston winning it back. Chance to just calm things back down and knock the ball around here. All played long, but to nobody in particular, Stochewski. Setting it to Sumayoro. First time ball attempted around the corner. Mayan Vari didn't come off. And at Askadoi. Bit of a hospital ball there from Feeks. Doi couldn't make it work, surrounded by Preston defenders. Box Hill, their press is coming up again. Big Anvari. Mariam Anvari, she's got Box Hill's lone goal this season. Coming back in round one. But they it back to Ting. Cross come shot to the back post. Will sail wide. But Horison can take the goal kick. For the visitors. Their game against South Melbourne last week postponed. But they are 1-0 on the season. Coach Dan Fodden's side. <coughs> Roared back from a 2-0 deficit to beat Borondara in round one. Zhao, jo Hayley Johnson and Georgia Henderson. No, sorry. Zhao, Amy Adcock and Hayley Johnson on the score sheet as they came back in the second 45 at the Veneto Club. Amy Adcock on the bench today. for Sumayoro, picked out. Battling for it down there on that flank. And it's going to go the way of Preston. And 
again, just gaining ground in fits and spurts. They'll have another throw in. Pearl into the penalty area. It's going to just deflect wide. In the end, it was Henderson trying to bustle her way through. First to number 50. Skipper. I mean, almost putting her side ahead. Seven minutes played, and it's certainly been... Oh, seventh minute. It's certainly been entertaining. Stothopoulos boots the ball clear to nobody in particular. Stringfellow just content to put the ball out. Another opportunity for Le Mans. Goes down and it'll be ball in the direction of Box Hill. Played forward, giving Anvari something to chase, close down. Goes back to Stringfellow, getting up from left bank, back to Mary Manvari. Ball in. Clear by Preston. Big collision, but they'll come up with it. Lamont, not a lot of support around her. Chesky sends it back from whence it came. Doi chests it down. Sumayoro. Ting. She laid it off for cooling. Anvari trying to turn the corner. It's going to fall kindly for Aska Doi. Last gasp challenge from Gurr, clearing the danger for Preston. Back wearing red after some time in the VFLW. Gurr. Proving her worth on that occasion. Corner is taken quickly and short by Box Hill. Will eventually come out to Ting. He'll swing a left boot at it. And Horison claims it on the second time of asking. The fourth Ellis, who just knocks it backwards. Hudson kept it on the turf. That's a smart layoff. Cooling. Another good ball to Ting. Close down, trying to bring it back inside. Heavy touch. And Harrington just got it away before she was crunched. Ting seeing a lot of the ball early. On that left flank, the Taiwanese international. Kalo eventually coming up with it. Centering it to Sumayoro, closed down by Zhao. Forced back to Hudson. Nice little lofted ball to Stringfellow. Ting. Close down by Harrington. Coming together there between the two of them, and then Anvari trying to bustle her way through. Free kick awarded against Georgia Henderson. She protests, but referee Courtney Van Dyson has seen something she doesn't like, and it will be a Box Hill free kick on this left flank. Oh, that's Sumayoro. They're a box hill after crossing over from Burundara last season. Coming across to take this one. South Australian. And we'll have Bucalo for company as well. The 
Callo ends up being the one to take it. Had it clear, sent straight back in by Ellis. And Rahorison had to get down and across and then poke it out because Doy was lurking. Taken short again by Box Hill. Sumayoro looking for somebody arriving at that back post. Finding no one. And Preston can have a goal kick. Cooling as Box Hill try to reload and come again. String flow, string fellow to Sumayoro to Ting. Rounds the first challenge before going back to String fellow. Ting just trying to turn on the Jets to get past Eva Harrington, doesn't come off. Chesky trying to bustle the way through against her former club. She's still going, the defender. Cooling's had to drop back to cover her. Bit of a shirt pull there. It's going to be play on. Advantage called. And Lamont, with not a lot of options central, just sends something in the direction of the goalkeeper. And it claims comfortably by Natasha Stathopoulos. Nice, bustling her way through. Russian can come again. Switch of play, looking to go from left to right. Harrington has her pocket picked. Central to Oscar Doy. Back to Ting. Opportunity for the quick counter-attack just peters out. I'll have to build up and well, they won't be doing so like that Although the ball goes straight back to Cooley Ting, clever little back heel for Doi Central front Vari tried to play the first time pass around the corner A Cheeky attempted flick and Lamont didn't come off Preston now, trying to work their th way through. Lamont forced to drop deep, play off to her defence. behind Hudson with the important header the ball splayed out to the left was up for grabs Ellis just being able to get it clear and then Bucalo on the ball couldn't keep it in Fifteen minutes of football gone here in Melbourne's East. It remains nil-nil. Preston on the attack. Have had their chances, not as many 
as Box Hill, or at least haven't been able to work their way into the final third as much as the hosts. <coughs> Doing their best now to try to set up some kind of cordon and prevent Stathopoulos from clearing this ball away. She does have the short options, the two centre-backs. The arm goes up, she instead goes long. Good ball to Ting, who just tried to nod it on. Didn't need to in the end, because Stringfellow was making the run. Bella Stringfellow, she's round Harrington. Space in front of her, she's going to shoot. And it's straight down the gullet of Re Horison, who dropped it, but there was nobody around her, so she had plenty of time to pick it up. That's coming back for offside. Fellow again. With that shot moments before from range. Sochewski's ball wanted cooling, instead, it only found its way to Vlaming. Now, Preston, they're just under a bit of pressure here. The Horison's attempted ball out went straight into Doy, who was smarting but has recovered now. Blaming. Couldn't get a handle on it. Ellis. Callo. Attempted the crossfield ball. Was charged down by Ellie Blaming. Signed with Preston from FE emerging in the offseason. And they go product. Callo. Sent the ball forward, but to nobody in particular wearing blue at least. And another attack comes to naught for Pythagoras. Ball bounced off the arm of Stringfellow, inadvertent, play on. And a combined with Ting again on this left flank. Neither Harrington closed them down and is rewarded for her endeavour. Ball forward is a good one for Henderson. Hill able to scramble back and clear. Bucalo with the attempted flick around the corner. Couldn't make its way to Sumayoro. Zhao brings it down. Jade Feeks. Mr. Gurr. There again, being monstered. Forced to go back to her keeper. Just keep the rotations going to Jade Fix. Ting. Central for cooling. Cleanliness required, and it's Preston who are temporarily at least cleaner on the ball right up until it's sent straight to Hudson. Cooling, just setting. Something inviting down the flank. Was hoping that Nicolina Bucalo could run into it, but Lani Gadais over there at left back, just watching it roll all the way out for a goal kick. <laughs> Horison gets us going again. Another one of these Preston players that has crossed over from FV emerging in the off-season. Highly rated keepers, captains, Victoria on multiple occasions in the past at various age groups, but it's now going to be forced into defensive mode once more as Preston turned the ball over very cheaply in their own half. Ting's ball in towards the back peg. Oh, thoughts of spectacular highlight, highlight real goals from Bucalo doesn't come off in a sliding challenge not able to win the ball back Preston resetting through their back four
Feeks carrying the ball forward and then looping it in behind. Johnson's come into a bit of space until it was closed down by Stathopoulos. And on this occasion, she's not rounded. And in the end, she needn't have worried because just the Preston attacker unable to receive the ball in an onside position. Stathopoulos to take this one, looking to keep a clean sheet for the first time in what would be eight games for Box Hill. Good streak stretching back to last season. Also, as mentioned, coming into this game winless, a loss to newly promoted Brunswick Juventus in round one after a furious late comeback from the visitors here at Wembley Park. And then in round two, losing to... The Bentley Greens 1-0. Olivia Bomford with the 78th minute winner for the newly christened Bentley Greens, formerly known as Bayside United. Their first win in their new colours. String fellow to Ting. Doy. Looking for Bucalo. It beat the defender, but it also beat the winger, who maybe reacted a touch late to the pass as it goes out for yet another goal kick. I was talking about Box Hill looking to keep a clean sheet. Preston, normally the goals do flow whenever Preston are involved. Both themselves and their opponents have been on the score sheet in five out of their last six games. At least three total goals have been scored in seven out of Preston's last eight. So history suggests that we are due for at least one goal and probably a few more. It's Harrington plays it out to Zhao. Zhao setting up shop at Preston this season after splitting her time with Alamein and Bulleen in 2023. Got a couple of senior appearances for Bulleen. Very difficult lineup to crack that FC Bulleen Lions won, especially when all those A League women players get back into the ranks. Sumayoro, but a fancy footwork. She tries to shake Tolevsky. Still going is Box Hill. Working their way down the right. The low ball in. Picked out. Cleared away, but only as far as Cooley. Second clearance gains a lot more territory. Claims by Hudson, the American. That will be a Preston ball. Right flank, just about inside their own half of the pitch. Chesky, time to figure out what she wants to do and I think it was to find Doy, doesn't come off, Cooling forced to scramble back to cover for her centre back Johnson just keeping Stathopoulos honest with her press Ting, had the ball roll underneath her, giving Harrington an opportunity to close her down and pressure her Goes back to string fellow. Ting has fallen over. Play will continue. Attempt to throw the ball for Anvari. Doesn't come off. Players falling all over the place. And eventually, 
Harrington is going to get herself a free kick in what has to be considered a rather promising position for Box Hill. Not quite directly in front, but close enough. Just about the right distance you need to get something over the wall and then dip it back down. Five player wall for Preston. Charlotte Horison marshalling them and setting them up. Nicolina Bucalo standing over it. So Bucalo, free kick. Well, it's the conversion, but unfortunately we're not playing league. Preston goal kick. down and one back by Lamont in the middle. Ball sent out the Zao direction on the right. Space to operate in Box Hill. One and an offside. Doesn't come off. Had it clear the first time of asking. And then Stathopoulos dropped it, but no Preston players following up. on the left, it's going to beat her but she's just able to keep it in but in doing so, tee it up for Preston to clear it back out to Stringfellow Avari tried to play the one two, Stringfellow keeps it in round one, Bella Stringfellow into the penalty area, cut back desperate sliding challenge from Henderson prevent, prevents Anvari from getting a shot which well, likely would have led to the opening goal for the hosts. Corner kick for Box Hill. And it's a good one towards the back peg. Not clear. Only as far as string follow. She's charged down. Henderson. Booting the ball forward. Stathopoulos will have to make a decision. Comes out, clears away. Foot race is on. Mariam Anvari's going to get there first. Knocks it back central. Clearance is sliced. Second one a bit better. There's no Preston players in the vicinity. Cooling keeps it in. Anvari giving chase. Can she find a target? Cutting the ball back. Doi. Had it slice off her boot. Sumayoro keeps it in. All hangs on deck for Preston. As they put the ball out for a throw in. But they are under siege. Ball played central, and Vari is lurking. And just desperately, Preston put the ball out for a corner on this attacking left side for the hosts. Short corner is offered by Sumayoro. Won't be the offer won't be taken up by Ting. High ball in. Players fly. Sent back central, but 
And Horison had an unimpeded path to the ball. No Box Hill players there at the near post. Lamont can't bring it down. Box Hill have the numbers. And they will also have a throw in, will the hosts? And Vari, she's been doing these first time flicks around the corner all night. That one does come off. Tendered ball just along the turf from Doy doesn't come off. Good. Closed down. And it rolls out for a goal kick. But their tails are up, Box Hill. You can just feel it. There's just over half an hour's football played here at Wembley Park. They can feel that they are in the ascendancy in this game. They are knocking at the door, just unable to get those clean looks at the goal to properly test for Horison. Chesky's attempted clearance didn't really come off. Ellis knocks it clear before getting knocked over herself. Carrying the ball forward. The attempted overlap is on. Sliding challenge from Ducalo is a strong one. And the ball is going to go Box Hill's way. I just can't quite believe it, but referee saying that it came off her shin. Van Dyson, one of the more accomplished whistleblowers here in Victorian football. Just letting everybody know that, yes, it's a throw-in. Ellis will eventually get back to take this one. Big coming together, and that will be a free kick for Preston now. And a yellow card as well for Olivia Ellis. Her first of the season. So Zhao coming across to take this one. Three player wall for Box Hill. Zhao, as mentioned, has one goal this season, was one of the three goal scorers in Preston's come from behind winning in round one. Potentially, the opportunity is there to try to sneak it in at the far post. More likely, she'll find, she'll look to find one of those numerous teammates that have come into the box. No, did attempt to just sneak it in, but too central in the end, and it's claimed by Stathopoulos. Strong mark on the chest. She'll do well to walk, work the ball through. Team calling for it in the penalty area. We'll have to wait. And Bucalo unable to swing the ball in.
coming together between Sumayoro and Henderson. The judge two have last come off the Preston skipper. Throw in for Box Hill, their defensive right flank. We've got just about six and a bit minutes of regulation remaining here at Wembley Park, plus whatever our fourth official Miles Hagazi deems necessary to make up for what we missed. There's Ellis. Has the ball in her hands, just near the halfway line. Hills it forward in the Advari direction. Big coming together, and that'll be a free kick. El Talevsky a bit enthusi too enthusiastic with her challenge on the box hill number 10. Box Hill used the opportunity of the set piece to get some bodies forward onto the edge of that Preston penalty area. High ball in, Doy is there. And it is just going to sail over her head. So close and yet so far for Asuka Doy. It has been that way on a few occasions in this opening half for the Box Hill attacker. She is the only player in this Box Hill squad tonight to score for them last season. It was that way in round one. It's that way again in round three here. Turn the back of the net ten times in 2023. Still looking to open her account in 2024. As mentioned, Mariam Anvari, the only player to hit pay dirt for Pythagoras so far. <laughs> that ball from Stocheski, not a good one. Too much mustard on it for Stratton Fellow. Preston bursting in behind again. That has been their best avenue to goal. Just using speed to try to get in behind Box Hill. Henderson looking to keep the attack alive on that right flank. Does enough to win a throw in. Eva Harrington. Getting up to take this one, headed clear. Zhao sends it back to Feeks. Talevsky had a lot of players around her, so she'll go back. Gur to Rahorison. Feeks closed down. Boxhill applying the press. Foot race is on. Rahorison gets there first. Lachewski bounces off her forehead. Game of head tennis has broken out. Lamont brings it down. Sliding challenge is a fair one. Slides out to Zhao. She floats the ball into the back post and Johnson unable to arrive in time. And they're coming together between her and Ellis as well. Ellis remains down. Stathopoulos just checking on her uh, going to get her drink bottle from inside the net for her skipper looks like have already lost Victoria Zikas two injuries so far this season to resume here at Wembley Park. Yes. 
Ellis collects the Bicalo header, and then there's an acre of space for the winger to move into. Has to decide what she wants to do. Trying to beat one defender, looking for Anvari in the penalty area. Cross couldn't make its way to her. Ellis now with time. Her delivery headed clear. Zhao gets it back after her first attempt was not cleared by Stocheski. Harrington playing it central, wanted Henderson. She eventually goes and get it, but then puts the pass behind Deli Vlamink. Henderson and Ellis doing battle, the two captains. Zoe Hudson across to reinforce and boot it clear. Boys ball intended for Anvari, gets there with a the deflection. And the important intervention just before the ball can find Ting at the top of the box. And Box Hill will have to make do with a throw in on their attacking right flank. Just about two and a half minutes of regulation remaining here in the opening stanza. And it comes to Nort. Does the throw in. It's now Preston. Can look to build out from the back here if they can make their way past this Box Hill defence, which they can't. It's not initially. Switch potentially on. Zhao. Gets past Stringfellow. But Lamont can't collect before Hudson gets across. Zhao. Trying to keep things going for Preston, but that ball forward. Strays into the penalty area, and he's claimed by the Box Hill custodian. Ball just snakes its way all the way through to Jade Feeks. And she'll go back even further. Horison's ball went to Tolevsky. Ellis, high ball in. Horison claims it just before Anvari can arrive. Zhao for Lamont. Slightly challenge from Stocheski is a good one. Puts the ball out for a throw in. Ball knocked around the corner for Lamont, and then she just tries to scoot it in that near post. Can only find the side netting. Coach Bobby Ravkowski losing his mind there as Stathopoulos prepared to take the goal kick, yelling at his players to present an option. Sumayoro just able to keep it in. And carrying the ball centrally. Cooling to Ting. Tough ball to bring down. Cooling. Getting onto it. Rolls out to Anvari. Bucalo. Thought about the back heel. And to Ellis. He's going to fall for String Fellow. Will shoot. Took an awkward bounce. Still alive. Doi couldn't get the shot away. Wouldn't have managed. She was offside. But Horison is down. That ball bounced up and just caught her square on the schnoz. It was a very awkward one, just 
whipped off the turf. The positioning of the Preston goalkeeper coming to her rescue. Albeit copping the Falcon for her troubles. the last of things from the opening 45 minutes here at Wembley Park. Neither side able to find the goals in this opening stanza here in Melbourne's East. It was Box Hill that had the best of play. Maybe not the most clear cut of chances that came with it. Asker Doy probably one with the best of them for Box Hill. Just unable to get that radar going and send them past Charlotte. Horison in the Preston goal. Preston, well, they threatened very early on. Ellie Lamont's rounding Stathopoulos and sending a shot wide of the goals from range in the opening 90 seconds. But after that, mostly restricted to getting out rapidly and trying to get in behind the Box Hill defence, which, anchored by Hudson and Stocheski, has been up for the task. Stick around, right, we'll be back go. in about 15 minutes or so for the second stanza here from Wembley Park.
Welcome back, one and all, to Wembley Park as the hosts Box Hill United kick us off here in the second stanza of this NPL Women's Victoria Round 3 meeting. Facing off with the Preston Lions, my name is Joey Lynch. Thank you ever so much for joining us for the second 45 minutes here on the NPL Victoria YouTube channels. It is Box Hill in their all-blue strips, kicking from left to right. Here in this second half, Preston in their all-red kits, kicking from right to left. As you will see from that little bug in the top left-hand corner, it is still nil-nil here in Melbourne's East. Box Hill United shading the first half, having more of the ball, more of the territory, but unable to convert their chances. Getting the ball into positions where, predominantly through Askadoy, they could have put forward some really challenging shots, but just unable to really test Charlotte Rehorison in the Preston goals. That ball is booted clear, unable to be kept in. Preston with another throw in on their left flank. They try to just work something, retain the ball, coming under pressure from Doy. I was mentioned for Horison before. She got the nasty blow to the face just before the end of the opening stanza, and she has been replaced at half time. In fact, it is Sasha. Lipparides, who now is between the sticks for Preston Lions. Here's a former Box Hill player as Lipparides joined Preston from Westgate. Hasn't had to do any work thus far in the second half as her teammates keeping that ball in the opposite half. Henderson's Unable to just win the ball back, albeit it'll be another Preston throw in. Yeah, Harrington, a right back, ball in her hands. Just trying to find an angle in for the cross, nothing on, but we will get an unimpeded attempt now. Corner kick. Chance for Box Hill to get some numbers forward. Jade Feeks has got up there, so it was Brie Gurr, the two centre backs. It's taken short. Vlamink has her pocket picked. Harrington trying to keep play alive. Just unable to do so. So the Preston corner comes to naught. Not even able to get the ball into the box in the end as the hosts have a throw in. Defensive left flank. And they'll gain a few metres and have another go. That was, in fact, Preston's first attempted corner of the game. We're able to get some shots away. The visitors in that opening stanza. Just one less shots and shots on target than Box Hill. Albeit the, the feeling of threat perhaps not as apparent as it was whenever Pox, Box Hill spent extended periods in attack. But they're doing a fine job of locking the ball and their opponents half so far in the opening six and a bit minutes of this second stanza. They'll have a free kick here. Another opportunity to whip something in. 
Mariam Anvari is the only player that has stayed up for Box Hill. Everybody else getting back. Is out to take. Three player wall being called for by Stephopoulos. Players queuing up on the edge of the box. Zoe Hudson with the clearing header. Gurr keeping it an attack for Preston. Lamont, round one. Couldn't beat the seconds and Box Hill just see the ball out for a throw in. Still everybody back defending Bar and Vari. Mont over the head of Zhao, giving chase her and Stringfellow. Stringfellow gets there first, just finds the touchline because Harrington was the only player in the vicinity and she's wearing a Preston shirt. Will force to Ting. Stocheski back to Ting, challenged by Zhao. High ball in. Hudson gets there. Still lurking around. Johnson couldn't get a shot away. So Chesky with the challenge, and it'll go out for Preston's second corner of the game. So continuing to pile on the pressure. Preston Lions here in the second half. A good opening for the visitors. We see Jade Feeks and Brieger getting forward. Lamont on the near post for Preston. Everybody else queuing up on the edge of the box. High ball in, big pack forms in the header. Well, it found the Preston head. And then bounce wide. But Box Hill remain under the pump. Preston getting set up in their defensive shape, trying to just marshal this one, keep it locked in. Box Hill spread in the field. Stathopoulos booting it long towards Ellis on the right. Knocks it down. And then she wanted Bucalo, but that wasn't where the winger's run was going. Preston coming forward again. Lamont loses Hudson. Doy just uses her body to win the ball back. And Vari got it caught up underneath her feet and lost possession. Now it's up for grabs. Ting, first time ball for Sumayoro. Loses one initially, and then a second time. Bucalo, high ball up. Doi couldn't go this for Ting. Shot deflected away. And it will be a corner for the hosts. Just like that, the pendulum swings around. And now Preston being asked questions defensively. Vari and Sumayoro on the goal line for Box Hill. Everybody else around the top of the box. Now the runs come. So Chesky, a high looping header over the bar still wait for the game's first goal goes on in front of a very healthy crowd here at Wembley Park for some good Friday football and a very strong opening day crowd at Box Hill, and they've backed that up with another impressive one in their second home game of the season, round three. Looking for their first three points of the campaign. Stringfellow just marshals it over the line. Looking against Haley Johnson. Now, 
Here comes Box Hill down the left. All will fall for Sumayoro. Little spin move to lose her marker. Ellis, Olivia Ellis. Skipper gets it to Ting. Just tries to turn on the Jets to get past Gurr. The Preston defender having absolutely none of it and putting it out for a corner. Ellis coming across the tank. Nicolina Bucalo providing the short option, which is taken, opening up the angle. Ball comes into the top of the box, headed back down. Johnson there defending for Preston. Lamond. Stochewski trying to hold her up. Bucalo got part back. And then the attempted pass through Johnson doesn't come off Ting. Just turning around and looking for an option behind her. Had to go all the way back to Southopolis to find one. Ellis's header. Bucalo keeps it in. Trying to find an option. And Vari. To Bicalo, Lamont applying the pressure. Ball through to Sumayoro. Looking for options in the middle. Can't find one before the ball runs out. Paredes, introduced at halftime, tries to boot the ball clear, can't find anybody. Henderson knocked it forward and made the run, couldn't be found. Had Lamont in the vicinity as well. Ball over the top, Lamont's trying to go hunting. Collision between her and Hudson, play on initially. And then the shove from Ellie Lamont, the West Australian, leads to the free kick for Box Hill. Now a bit of space for Ellis to operate in, looking for Nicolina Bucalo. And Vari's made a run down the right. Feek's keeping her company all the way to the byline. I think Anvari was just trying to knock that one off the defender's shins. Didn't come off. And now we'll see a change for the hosts. That will be Anvari's last involvement. Chiara Lettieri coming on to replace the Box Hill number 10. Who just makes her way off at the nearest exit. So Lettieri can come on. Other players on the bench for Box Hill. Aisha Duplessis, Olivia Materia, Georgia Caraparitas and Allegra Angel. A very young bench for Box Hill. For Preston, Miet Giorgio, Miri Nishimura, Molly May Ramsey, Amy Adcock, and Dakota Thyssen on the bench. So quite a handy substitute bench for Preston. able to just create something out of nothing. Preston have a free kick, looped forward, Lamont trying to chase it down. Doesn't come off. And it does indeed look like Coach Dan Fodden over there in the Preston dugout is preparing at least one change, at least one bib has already come off, maybe a couple more. He did have multiple players warming up. Meanwhile, nice turn from Stringfellow to face the right way, but she has her pocket picked before being bailed out by her teammates. High ball forward. And able to be clean with it as Talevsky 
seizes upon it for Preston. Johnson coming down with it. Luke just knocking that ball forward. Henderson giving chase. Lamont's in the middle. Can't beat Hudson at the first time of asking. And then the second. It's too close to Stathopoulos. So potentially looking like a triple change for Preston being prepared. Callow keeps it in. Back to Hudson. Thierry knocking it around the corner for Doyd. Couldn't get it back to the number five. Ellis pinching it back. Bit of space on this right flank. Ellis's ball in. Finds Ting. Headed goalward. And it's a simple collection in the end for Sasha Liparidis. Just bounces off the back of cooling in the end. Will eventually come out to Ellis on this right flank. Nicolina. Bicalo. Nicolina Bicalo looking for an option on that right hand side, finding nothing. An opportunity maybe for Preston to make that change if they want it with a goal kick. Not on that occasion. And they'll just boot it forward and find a bit more space. Throw into Box Hill and now it looks like the change is being made. Brigur will be one of the players coming off. Zhao as well. And Vlamink. So it will be a triple change. and Nishimura two of the players that have come on there's Box Hill coming forward Amy Adcock is the other one that has come on for Preston Lions and that's Sumayoro just doing enough to keep Henderson at bay force back to Ellis Thierry. Lima Ramsey with a challenge. Icalo seizing upon it. And it's a good ball in. And held and held well. Oh, Sasha Liparitas. That's a good ball in behind. Lamont was around the keeper. Couldn't escape. Zoe Hudson. Last gasp. Important defending. From the American centre back. Joined Box Hill from the Portuguese first division. And showing a bit of a pedigree there. Stocheski. Challenged by Nishimura. High ball back in. Nobody really in red there for it. So Stathopoulos has the time to collect herself and fall on it. And roll it across the ground for Hudson. Ellis. Closed down by Adcock. Two appearances now on the season for Amy Adcock in Preston's second game. Means she, ha means she has equaled the number of appearances she made off the bench for FE Emerging 
2023. Yes, headed back in by Talevsky. Almost worked out in the end as Adcock had the chance to try to launch something in behind, but no Preston players in the vicinity. Ishimura. Talevsky. Lamont. Ting knocks her over, and that'll be a free kick. Nishimura. As I said, there is a bit of magic in those boots on occasion. She gets across to take the free kick. Everybody lines up on the edge of the penalty area in blue and red alike. Two player wall. And Nishimura's delivery. Oh, header from Doy. Didn't clear. Player still arriving. Stathopoulos. I think went through Lamont, who got up asking the question and finding an unsympathetic ear in the form of referee Courtney Van Dyson, and it will be a, a goal kick in the end. Looks like Box Hill preparing another change as well. The assistant coach getting across with the paperwork required for our fourth official, Miles Agazi. The Thierry, not sure how much she knew about that header, but it went to a teammate in the end. And just trying to work her way past Jade Feeks. And able to do so, and it will be a Preston throw in, defensive left flank. Nishimura trying to shrug off the attention of Stringfellow, who remains down on the turf in the aftermath. Meanwhile, Sumeoro carrying the ball forward and having an effort spilt by the keeper on the first time of asking. Ting arriving, cleared away at the last. Meanwhile, though, Stringfellow has remained down on the surface in what looks to be quite a bit of pain, holding her left ankle. Mentioned in the first half, Box Hill have already lost Victoria Zekas to injury. And now, Bella Stringfellow. Coming across from South Melbourne, needing some attention from the trainer. And, well, judging from that, doesn't look like she'll be able to continue unfortunately definitely the left ankle covering her face with her hands as she lies on the turf so up to her feet albeit the fourth officials board would indicate perhaps that her race is run she comes off for treatment. So there will now be a double change for Box Hill. So Bucalo will also be making way. And confirmation that Bella Stringfellow will eventually, after she's finished doing her running, have to just make that long walk around. Isha Duplessis is coming on, as has Olivia Materia. Well, 
Ball into the top of the six-yard box, headed clear by Preston. And eventually they'll intercept the ball at the top of their penalty area. Now potentially something in transition could be on Johnson. Lamont again trying to make that darting run in behind. And Stathopoulos coming out to claim and holding her ground. And Lily Lamont's potentially coming a cropper as she moved to avoid a collision. Skipper Georgia Henderson getting across to check on her, as is Stathopoulos. Potentially just the winds knocked out of her as she went down to the turf. Still looking for the breakthrough either of these sides. Nil-nil. Approaching the final 15 minutes of this gun there. Taking a bit of a fibber out of me, as I told you in the first half. Box Hill haven't kept a clean sheet in eight previous games to this one. Both teams have scored in five out of Preston's last six games. At least three goals have been scored cumulatively across seven of Preston's last eight. And right now, goose eggs by both sides. Sumayora. And across to Ellis. All back centrally, not properly cleared. Letiera's going to give chase. Adcock getting there first for Preston. Now foot race is on. Stoicheski, Lamont and Ellis. Box Hill coming away with it. Hudson. Trying to just sneak a pass through to Doy. Intercepted. Adcock was making the run. Hudson claims it. Doy. Closed down by Henderson. Showing good energy there. Knocking the ball into touch. Atieri working against Molly May Ramsey. The latter wins the throw in. Hudson boots it forward. Off the head of Duplessis. Area just sent it central. Couldn't find a teammate. Now Ellis doing battle with Johnson. They're coming together. Your Box Hill ball. Ellis going across to left back. And Olivia Materia coming across to right back after the substitution of Bella Stringfellow. Here we go, officially on the scoreboard here at Wembley Park. We are into the last 15 minutes of regulation. Ting on the ball as we search for our first goal in this game. And Nishimura as Preston looked to break. But Stoicheski playing spoiler. Not the most convincing of clearances from Stathopoulos. And Adcock intercepts. Having a second go, Amy Adcock. Hit that one with a bit of venom, but it was rising and just couldn't stay down before it sailed over the crossbar. But one of the better chances that the 76-odd minutes of this game has produced thus far falls to the substitute, Amy Adcock. Looking for her second of the season. Yes, we haven't had a draw in this fixture. Preston being promoted last season into the top flight from the VPLW. But it was Box Hill winning both league meetings and their Nike FC Cup encounter. Box Hill winning 2-0 at this venue and then 5-1 at PT Connor Reserve. 
course, Fox Hill's biggest difference maker in those games was Mindy Barbieri, who is currently doing bits for the Newcastle Jets in the A-League women, so they can't rely on her. In fact, the only player to score in either of those games that is still on the books for either club is Asuka Doi. She scored to make it 4-1 to Box Hill in that 5-1 win. And Sasha Liparidis comes out to claim. Both of these sides will be in action on Friday night, the next round of the NPL women's season, as Doi picks out that one. Duplessis, could she get a shot off? No. Sasha Liparidis off her line to claim. And that one headed in behind, and Stathopoulos almost caught in two minds, eventually decides to just let it run. DeMont. Lamont, sorry, unable to just close down in time. Ting couldn't knock it on. Nishimura. Marie Nishimura. Johnson on the right. Lamont in the middle. Has Docheski for company. Ellis closed down. And in the end, discretion the better part of Valor, just putting it out for a throw in. Sumeoro keeps her cool. So knock it forward, headed back. Thierry. Back to the centre back in Hudson. Her ball doesn't find any teammates. Lamont. For the overlapping run from Harrington. Rounds one, but Stoichewski. With a crunching tackle on her former teammate, who's remained down. Saw bodies here coming to the end of a hard fought encounter. Only round three, so the match fitness still building up. These little knocks just take that little bit more out of you at the start of the season before you've really been able to find your groove. But back to her feet is Eva Harrington. Looks like another change is being prepared on that Preston bench. Giorgio preparing to come on. I'll have to see. Who is withdrawn for the former Heidelberg player, now with Preston. Oh. Stracheski thought about just clearing that one out with her knee. Let it run in the end for Stathopoulos to claim. So, Fox Hill ball rather than a corner. Booted away. One of the most clean of clearances from Feeks is it? Goes beyond her and enables Box Hill to just get some numbers for it. Duplessis has been a nuisance since she's come on. Duplessis finds a teammate. Letieri just wide of the goals. Agonisingly close. The Box Hill contingent in the grandstands here can't believe it. Massive let off for Preston as they make their final change of the game. And he's going to be Harrington that makes way. For Miet Giorgio. So the 03 born midfielder making her way onto the park. One goal across seven starts and 13 appearances for the Burgers last season. That ball is going to bounce through. 
Ball played inside, Nishimura's brought down, penalty! And off the bench and winning a penalty, Miri Nishimura. Southopolis has come off her line on a few occasions today, but on that time of asking, took out the Preston player, and now having won the spot kick, Miri Nishimura will have the opportunity late on in this one to put her side ahead. The Japanese star for Preston. As I said, she does have magic in those boots, does Miri Nishimura. Can she find the spell to put her side up later on here at Wembley Park? What a save! What a save! Oh. Cold as ice from Miri Nishimura. Bottom corner. Stathopoulos sent the wrong way. And Preston Lions put themselves into the lead in the 84th minute of this game and put themselves in a commanding position to go to two wins from two here in the 2024 NPL Women's Victoria campaign. And all of a sudden, Box Hill find themselves staring down three games and three defeats. As they knock the ball forward, that extra sense of urgency that only comes from falling behind, spurring them on. But unable to create anything. It's Preston coming forward once more. Unable to connect as it rolls out for a goal kick. So here we go. Box Hill. With just about five and a half minutes plus any added time to find a way back into this one. You'd have to think at this stage if Preston could find a second one as Tolevsky gets on the ball, it would put this game to bed. Big to coming together on that right flank. In the end, it's going to be a goal kick for Box Hill. Thierry battling with Nishimura to bring it down. Does very well, does Lettieri. Ball to Duplessis. Just had a bit too much on it, and the youngster couldn't control it. Feeks playing the ball through again. Nishimura was in the vicinity. Just not sure what happened there. Maybe a bit of a miscommunication between her and Johnson. As it eventually works its way through to Stathopoulos, who gains all the territory she can in her box before booting it forward. Ting couldn't bring it down. Cooling. Still on it. The Tasmanian sending it out to the left. The Thierry battling for it. Cooling's attempted first time cross in. Just roll rather harmlessly out for a goal kick. Thierry. Box Hill 
hurling numbers forward now in search of a leveller. Cooling, Lettieri, close down well. Not so well in the end as it will be a free kick for Box Hill. And now, pretty much everybody except Belinda Stochewski getting up for Box Hill. When I say everyone, I mean everyone. Pretty much nine Box Hill players camping out on the edge of the Preston area. And that will find precisely none of them. Goal kick for Preston. Scoreboard says we have less than two and a half minutes of regulation remaining here at Wembley Park. Preston remain on track for a 1-0 win. Their second victory of the campaign. This is the only game in the NPL Women's Victoria this evening. So on the live ladder, Preston would in fact go top with a victory tonight. No side able to take two wins from two in the opening two rounds. Stathopoulos, not the most convincing of clearances, went straight to Nishimura. Ting, getting all the way back to Kleinman. Doi just tried the glancing header on, not how much sure she got on it, but it's going to find its way to Sumayoro anyway. Sumayoro, nice little cutback. Second one, not so good, but it fell to Ting. Who shot, just bounces past that near post. So Preston, for now at least, on track to go top of the league. On Saturday, we will have Calder against Brunswick. Current tabletop is heading into tonight. FE emerging, facing the Bentley Greens. South Melbourne against Alamein. Borondara hosting Berlin. And then on Monday night, Heidelberg facing off with newly promoted Essendon Royals. Preston throw in in the ends. We're appealing for the free kick, but they will instead have the ball with a bit more territory in the end, I guess, albeit not an opportunity for an immediate delivery. Adcock winning the corner. Nice coming off Materia. Former Bulleen player, Olivia. Materia spent some time with Heidelberg as well before coming to Box Hill. And Jade Feeks, the centre back, coming forward to contest this one. As we have now moved into extra time, there will be. Oh! Well, an elicited and excited reaction from the crowd, but it wouldn't have counted there from Lamont in an offside position. As there will be four minutes of added time here at Wembley Park. Yeah, the hospital ball there from Box Hill and Adcock lurking. Goal kick. Pythagoras need to find a way to get this ball up the other end and into the back of the net. Time is running out. Samayora. Twisting and turning, trying to find teammates. Eventually gets it to Hudson, but immediately stolen away by Henderson. Ellis now with the throw in, taken quickly. Thierry.
Masioli back to Cooley. Challenged by Nishimura. Took a touch off the referee, so drop ball to Box Hill's advantage. Ball sent to the top of the box. Ting just chests it down to Duplessis. She couldn't get a shot away. Booted away. Sathopoulos is a mile out. Coming together. Play on is the call. Bit of a car crash in the middle of the park. Giorgio. Cries of shoot from the Preston contingent of the bench. Lamont couldn't turn and do so. Stathopoulos coming a mile out in an attempt to play a sweeper keeper as her side push. Almost punished. Cooling now on the ball. Knocks it forward, Duplessis. Bounces off the back of Tolevsky's heels. With Sieri. Bring it inside. Sumayoro! Over the crossbar. That perhaps could be all she wrote for Box Hill. Oh, with Sumayoro finding a yard of space at the top of the penalty area. Wasn't the worst attempt in the world, but it did go high. And Preston's 1 0 lead remains. Booted clear. Lamont can't bring it down. Stocheski just knocks it away. It's going to be a Preston throw-in. Scoreboard says we have played 94 minutes. We are at the mercy of referee Courtney Van Dyson. And for Box Hill, it's, it's precisely not where you want in this situation. All is kept in. And then it's going to be a throw in for Preston. Look at the watch from Courtney Van Dyson. Surely. That has to be it. Thrown in. Play continues. Shot across the face of goal. Will Box Hill be afforded one final opportunity? Stathopoulos boots it clear. Preston in the road. Adcock from Ray. Jamie Adcock. Good Lord. As far as ways to ice the game go, that would have been spectacular. Again, Stathopoulos boots it, but again, Preston in the road. Ellis intercepts and knocks it away. Molly May Ramsey tried to clear it back. Letieri. Sumayoro. Good challenge from Giorgio. Duplessis has done very well. Peels for a handball as it goes out for a corner. Coach Bobby Zravkowski for Box Hill is sending everyone up. Nine players in the box for Box Hill. Eleven for Preston. Corner can't beat the first defender. And that'll be it, Preston Lions, for a day at least, go top of the NPL Women's Victoria competition. Miri Nishimura's penalty, the difference, coming off the bench, winning the spot kick, and then coolly converting. 
the Preston Talisman. Box Hill fall to their third defeat in three games. Not the way they envisioned their 2024 campaign happening. They will attempt to right the ship next Friday night at home against Alamein FC. Preston will also be in action next Friday night, taking on FV Emerging. Looking to make it three wins from three and continue a hot start to the season for Coach Dan Fodden's side. Reminder that all the, the rest of this round's NPL Women's Victoria action can be found on the NPL Victoria YouTube page, live and free. Subscribe and then tell a friend to be a friend and then get them to subscribe as well for all the women's action, all the men's action from the NPL Victoria, selected cup games and a number of other special events. My name has been Joey Lynch. Thank you ever so much for joining us, whether you happen to be in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, or anywhere around the world. The final score one more time. Preston Lions 1, Box Hill United nil. Thanks and success.